is your first set of the day, and it's gonna be a good one. Woo! All right then. I can imagine with the loops, uh, Boat might have an advantage as well if the frame one grenade could come into play. Of course, of course, you do have that frame one combo breaker. If you're Jerome, you've got to make sure your combos are as airtight as can be. But a whiff down air, that's going to be a cheeky little opening. Nice starter there. Boat's going to be trying to I fake going high, but yeah, there we go. Immediately, the, the mix up, the mind game has been laid down. Boat immediately fakes going high, goes low and gets that down tilt. Uh, oh, the bear out of shield. <laughs> Going into that grenade, kind of unusual. But yes, and also another factor, ooh, Pika is small. And if you are going to be taking these trades, if both Pikachu and Snake get hit by a grenade, Pika gets closer to death than Snake does. That is something you have to remember. It's not just uh, even because they take the same amount of percent. You have to factor in their weight as well. Gorgeous quick attack to get to the ledge, but immediately roll straight into that mortar with a Nikita missile flying around at ledge. You know Boat is just hunting for that up tilt if he gets the chance. But a Pikachu very already at dangerous percent as well. Yeah, and with that very unsafe dash attack on shield, that could have been scary. Just planting C4 in the middle of the stage. Take control, yep, 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 yep. Far and away with that up tilt. And again going low, but Jerome just a little bit late with that S smash. Got to contend with that Nikita. Trying to... Send it into the ledge, but to no avail. Was looking for that roll. Misses the punish on the back air. Oh, and ends up whiffing a smash deck right on top of that C4. Is uh, it harder to see the C4 in this stage? Uh, honestly, yeah, I, I, um, I, I, I find, especially if it's planted on platforms, when these two characters are like down a bit, uh, like the camera angle is slightly lower, so you might not even be able to see it. And yeah, it, it does somewhat blend into the blue, you could argue more than the green, but that's, I suppose that's neither here nor there, but right now, JL's got more pressing issues to deal with, so he's got to deal with this first stock of Snake, he hasn't even got Boat to 100 yet, and uh, if Pika has any weakness, it's that sometimes he can struggle to kill, that's going to be very accentuated if Boat keeps playing the way they're playing, already got JR up to 80. Boat could take it right here if he if he just hits one move or one read. That could be the yeah, end of the stock. And dealing like take, getting rid of that stock right now, honestly. Yeah, I mean, look at him just firing away with those up tilts from a distance. JR is not sure how to approach, and yeah, trying to challenge that up tilt on shield. And there Nikita it is. in the perfect position, boat off to a flyer. Goodness me! Oh yeah, the tech chase as well. The read. This is a very, very tricky start here. Vujaram gets forward air and edge guard opportunity. But he's got to be yeah, just, just not quite ready for the recovery mix-ups. He's really not sure what to do when uh, Snake is up and off stage. It's a bear out of shield. That's an easy punish, but uh, certainly not going to kill. And what you need right now is the kill. He's gone for this up smash. many uh, This forward smash, I should say, many, many times. And it hasn't worked out a single time. I'm... A little bit concerned, but there we go. Oh my god, yeah. middle of the stage. PS2 incredibly wide. Oh dear. You reckon oh. JR might be a little too careful in this? He's he's not going for that much approaches, being more non-committal, trading blows. And because of Pikachu doesn't do as much damage and goes flying more, it could be a detrimental because uh well, if, if they're trading blows, it's much more likely Snake's going to get the kill. Snake's going to get in that good damage. Yeah, no, JL's got to pick his spots a lot more carefully. Walks underneath the C4 once again to close out a three stock in the first game. It's looking a little bit messy right now, but nonetheless, JL, he's got time to figure it out. He's got to take the information. Can't dwell on the loss. Just move on to that next game. Take what information you can. Think about what was working. Think about what wasn't working. And for me, what wasn't working was those S smashes. Just, I, I, I would argue that on the edge guard, JR was being too committal. Guessing too heavily on exactly where Boat was going to be. And Boat clearly very good at mixing up that recovery. So I think if he stays a little bit lighter on his feet, you know, maybe tries to confirm like a landing nair into an up smash, for example. He can hit confirm that. Oh my god, Boat just starting out with a forward air. Saying, I, look, I don't care what you're going to do. I'm just going to oh. come at you with moves, but hold on. Now hold on a second. Okay. Drops the loop on the second rep, but still good damage. We haven't seen a single thunder this this entire set. Yeah, I know. I, I suppose he's a little worried about uh, that. And, and to be fair, Boat hasn't gone high particularly uh, just yet. 
like, um, he, he's fake going high every single time, and has ended up going low. So, um, uh, that, that I suppose the Thunder hasn't really been the right option just as of yet, but it's, it's definitely something that JR could look to implement as Boat's game plan changes, but a, uh, a Nikita the wrong way will mean a hefty punish. Oh, wow, gorgeously placed up air, like, at exactly the, the right height JR wants to approach from. Now up tilt off the mark. JR just getting slightly smarter to where Boat wants to go with uh, with these C4s. Now, Boat at the ledge again. Oh, the perfect air dodge. He had the neutral get up scouted. It was just a little bit too late on that on that forward smash and rolls straight into that up smash. JR shaking his head. He knows he could have done better. In this matchup, you have to very carefully pick your options as Pikachu. It, it, it's quite difficult to uh, approach all the um, the hitboxes. And w once you get in, you can still be sweated away. There's a nice down there as well. There we go. Yeah, JR uh, ca uh, catching out Boat. Boat was running out of resources off the stage, was forced to go low. And JR capitalizing the first opportunity that he gets. This is looking a hell of a lot better. This is the first stock he's taken in this uh, in this set so far. The loops. Here we go. That's two, and that's 42. Really, really juicy start there. Oh, my goodness. Just the very top of the grenade hitbox catches JR the maximum height of his jump. He was trying to avoid it with just a neutral jump. Maybe land on that shield to create some pressure, but... Uh, Oh, got stuck in a shield there. Was looking for a dash stack, I'd wager, rather than an F tilt. Oh my god. Boat is setting everything up all over the place. Pops up that grenade into the into the path of the Skull Bash. Gorgeous punish there. Quick attack. Oh, but the Nikita was already on target. You have to be wary of that. Uh, when a Snake puts Nikita uh, on target to hit you, if you hit him, you, uh, you don't stop the Nikita. Oh, yes. You only stop him changing the direction of the Nikita. Gorgeous air to air with that up air, and again, Boat taking a lead. Jerome's got to take his time here. Oh, oh. My goodness gracious, the setup off of that C4 was just disgusting. Getting caught by these uh, by these uh, stray grenades as well. Boat just uh, ca catching uh, catching JR like the rat in a trap that he is. But uh, oh, the whiff grab gets caught, but. Good delay there, and the get-up attack. Boat is doing a great job converting off of all these stray hits, grenades into back airs, or C4. Anything, he's, he's trying to make the most of it, Very and there he is. Yeah, the empty landing straight into that after. Like you were saying, uh, you, what, what you 